the operator's deft technical control is transferred harmoniously to the spectator's imagination. Thus, proportions begin to shift, distances dissolve. Landscapes briefly appear as mysterious structures from unknown microcosms. Corporate complex in Tulna Bar. Development area, workshop, production facilities, including studios and post-production. Headquarters for 38 staff plus logistics, the backbone for high quality filming. Here is where the raw material winds up after successful shots. Here is also where the equipment is checked and maintained. Nothing spectacular goes on here. Yet this work is essential for the overall smooth operation. And, after many intensive days on the set, as the door gently closes on the filming systems used for the New Year's concert project, another door opens in the building as others take their cue and commence their work. Noisia, equipped with a modern sound studio and also housed here in Tulnabah. Famous for their composition and the opening show for the Nordic Ski World Championship 1999 in Ramsar. Unusual images are enhanced through mystical sounds. Complementing the music by Werner Pirchner, Noisia creates fascinating sound collage for the intermission filler during the New Year's concert. Sound sculptures, which vibrate when touched, are linked to electronic computer-generated sounds and produce remarkable oscillations. Two artists create mind-boggling sound compositions, combining sound effects and technology with considerable sensitivity and expertise. We're approaching the last stage in the production of the New Year's concert, post-production. Now, basic elements and modules are combined to create the optical compositions of a visionary. George Ria, who won the Romy Television Award in 1997, completes what started as an idea or a vision. Consistent down to the last detail, Ria, along with a creative cutter, composes strikingly visual sequences using a state-of-the-art, non-linear cutting system. The raw material is transferred to a hard disk, ensuring the highest possible quality, and can be edited on different levels without any quality loss. Since the finished modules can be recombined easily, the artistic director is able to implement last-minute spontaneous ideas and changes. Okay, next. Cutting-edge technology offers an incredible range of possibilities to perfect images and procedures during post-production. When it comes to visual effects, digital editing systems, such as the one used by Brains and Pictures, don't just steal the show at the New Year's concert. They allow us to introduce visual effects like snow, rain or fog later on in the production process and offer infinite possibilities for removing elements from filmed reality even while the camera is moving. The option to partially manipulate existing video sequences allow the producer to eliminate any imperfections in the individual takes. Light and color 
are essential elements in aesthetic photography. As a result, color correction has become an integral part of post-editing. Fine-tuning the texture at the Vienna Musikverein. All that glitters turns into gold. We have closed the loop and returned to the location of the great event with a perfect composition. A product which started with the vision of a few people has become an event for millions of spectators. An enormous amount of various hardware is set up for the Austrian Broadcasting Corporation, ORF, also for the specialists from Brains and Pictures. The highest possible quality is achieved with the smallest possible equipment. The technology used okay, John, should be concealed uh, so that it's unobtrusive, yet works with precision from its secluded location. As to cameras, the remote heads used by Brains and Pictures fulfill this requirement. Okay, that looks good. Thank you very much. The director may then include parts of pre-produced and digitally stored inserts into the program, thereby adding a visual composition to three musical pieces. With the worldwide introduction of Dynamix, a special application developed by the Weiland company, the rhythm of pre-designed video sequences can now be adapted to match the pace of the musicians for the first time in the history of video production. A perfect composition that is broadcast simultaneously to 42 countries on four different continents. Test pour la synchronisation sonore. Une, deux, trois. Final consultations and fine tuning between the members of the Brains and Pictures crew and the ORF director of photography. George Ria himself will operate one of the cameras. After intense rehearsals, the technical resources are ready. Everybody is standing by for the command from the director, Brian Large. Final light adjustments. When culture is in the limelight, focusing with precision on the highlights is of paramount importance. The big moment has arrived. The ceremonial hall gradually fills with spectators. The musicians of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra appear on the stage. The director gives his first command. The show can go on. The individually composed elements blend naturally to give rise to a perfect interplay captured by the camera team, while the crew of technical experts works behind the scenes in order to make this one of the most popular international TV events of the year. Even though most people are unaware of the tremendous effort and resources that have gone into this production, it is thanks to this effort that millions of spectators around the world are able to watch a cultural highlight meeting the highest possible expectations.